heard you've been spending a lot of time at your auntie's house. How's the couch life? Yeah, my woman and my baby living there is hard, man. But you know, everybody can't do what you do. Really, what I do getting played out, Dre. Where the money at? But why you gotta be so ruthless, cuz? I'll make a few changes. Where you think you're going? I'm just trying to get home. That's my son. You need to get back in the house, or I will ruin your night. Hey. I gotta talk to my moms like that. You had the chance to change the situation. Would you take it? Well, I think a lot of people are gonna always wonder how much of the movie is real, how much has been fictionalized for the movies. But, I mean, it, it does feel like a lot of it is based on what really happened. Yeah, you know, we try to be as authentic as you can be in a movie and still keep a, you know, dramatic arc and pace that a movie usually has to hold. And trying to shove 10 years into two hours is not easy. So you had to summarize things. And, you know, maybe things happen on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and a Friday. We just put them all in one day in one scene just to give you a comprehensive look and a snapshot of what we were dealing with on the whole. So those kind of things, I think, always have to be done in making a movie. Talk a little bit about uh, maybe any sort of big change from when you first got the script to what ended up on screen, or was it original, was the movie what you guys sat down to make? No, the, this movie is a lot edgier than the original draft. Um, the first draft was kind of more of a coming of age story, making of the band, um, you know, and then the, you know, the band just disbanding. But um, because the story is so much bigger than NWA and so much bigger than the music, I wanted to add in some of the social elements and um, the, the reason why. You know, sometimes people just kind of look at it on the surface and say, oh, it's just rap music and it's just about the streets and it's edgy, but it's like, no, let's go back and, and get a sense of why they did that. So you get a sense of Compton, you get a sense of South Central LA and how dangerous it was and what influenced these guys to make this type of mu music and that wasn't in the original draft. When you were editing, sitting in the editing room, what, I often speak to directors and they talk about like one sequence they constantly go back to and tweak and work with because they're just never happy. Mm -hmm. Did you have a sequence like that in this film? Crenshaw. No, not Crenshaw, actually the riots. You know, I shot the riots in slow motion. And so it was just a lot of footage, a lot of footage, and it was a lot of good footage. And, you know, for pacing, um, I had to trim it down. So I edited it this way and then that way, and that changed the music and how it works out and the emotional impact. But the riots, um, you know, I had to tweak that quite a bit in order to make it sit in the movie perfectly. I was in the edit bay uh, a lot on this movie, and it was extremely tough on what to keep, what do we have to lose. You know, how do we trim and shave without, you know, damaging or cutting to the bone? So, you know, it was some tough decisions, a little yelling and screaming, <laughs> and but we got to it. I already know what I want to do with my life, and it definitely ain't sitting in some cubicle taking orders on. Now, I worked my ass off to get us here, and I refuse to let you throw it all away. Very curious. The movie's about two hours, 20 minutes, give or take. How long was your first cut? About three hours, a little over three hours. Right, and was it like one of these first cuts that you're like, I can show this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just a lot to happen. It's five members of, uh, in a group, and it covers from 1986 to 1996, and when you have Tupac and Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre and Ice Cube, and you're covering hip hop and the, the uh, kind of all the, the social stuff that's happening as a backdrop, it's a lot in it. Is there a chance we will get an extended cut, that three hour cut on Blu-ray? I'll be finishing it on Monday. Oh, for real? Yes, there is a director's cut. And it will be. What is the running time of your director's cut versus the theatrical cut? I want cut? people to focus on the theatrical release. I'm gonna, I, I will talk about that in a couple of months, but right now I want, really, I want everybody to focus on going to the theatrical release, because I think that, I mean, based on the response, everybody's kind of loving that one too. Oh, no, 100%. I'm just mm -hmm. saying as a fan. As a fan, you, you'll get quite a bit. Right, I'm happy with it, I'll put it that way. This isn't the Crips and Bloods. This is a threat from the federal government. They're trying to tell us what we can't play. This man drove you up. Yo, Trey. What up? I got something to say. We can keep going, man. We can take over the goddamn world. Get a little dust of wind and I'm dead. Believe a memory, no one will be 